In this tutorial, we're going to use Photoshop CC 2020 in order to manipulate some smart objects in order to create some photo mockups that are uh, very realistic and make it very easy for you to create some really cool um, product ads and other things like that. So let's go ahead and open up the bookmark by Photoshop Supply. Um, you can find all kinds of mockups all over the place on the web, and I have given you a whole bunch in the Canvas or the Google folder as well. So let's go ahead and take a peek. Let's do a file save as. Let's do a first initial, last name, underscore, smart object. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in my folder for smart objects. So I've got a whole bunch of tutorials here. They're in Photoshop. And smart objects. And let's go ahead and save as a PSD. So now when I look at my layers panel over here on the right hand side, I see I've got four different folders. Bookmark 1, Bookmark 2, Book, and Background. So let's go ahead and take a peek at Bookmark 1. So within Bookmark 1, if you look right here in the corner, you'll see that it's got like a little piece of paper. That indicates that this is a smart object thumbnail. So with a smart object, it allows you to manipulate that element as if it is another file and it allows you to non-destructively change this one. So let's go ahead and double click on that smart object. So it's going to go ahead and open up just that one element. So if we look within that one element, we can see that we've got free bookshop, a uh, free bookmark, and we're going to see it's missing a missing a font, and we've got the area for the uh, website as well. Then we have a shape, which is this shape here, and we have another shape. And we have a pattern, which is overlaying. So let's go ahead and maybe we decide we don't like the lemons. Let's go ahead here to our pattern overlay and double click. That's going to go ahead and open up the patterns. If you open up the patterns at the drop down and then go to the gear, you can do new pattern or import pattern. And there's actually some patterns downloaded or uploaded in the drive. You've got one for glitter, one for circles, one for leather. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do glitter this time and say load. So now you'll see that in my choices I have a whole bunch of different types of glitter that are now available and it's very easy to change those out uh, with that glitter pattern. So when I'm happy with it I'm going to say OK. I'm going to go ahead to my free bookshop and because I'm having a font issue it will probably pop up and say hey there's a font problem and it's going to replace it with something else. So I'm going to go ahead and call this, okay, yeah, so it's font is missing, so we can tell it, go ahead and tell it to replace, and it'll replace it with just something else, and call it whatever you want, call it your bookmark, uh, whatever you want to do as far as the text goes. And I can see that it's styled a little bit big right now, so I'm going to go ahead to go to my window, come down here to character, and open up those character styles. And it's kind of funky green right now, so I'm going to click on color, and use my eyedropper to kind of pull one of these blues out of the glitter and say OK. And I can see that's really far apart so I've got my, if you look right here, you can see that you've got your kerning spread pretty far, your tracking. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that in a little bit closer. And I'm unhappy with that. I'm going to go ahead and change this photo supply to something else. Oh, replace it again. So go ahead and make it um, whatever you want. My book. Now, I've gone through and made these changes. So if I look at my smart object right now, it's gonna, you're going to say, hey, it didn't look. It didn't change. Nothing happened. You have to save the smart object. So do Control S or Command S to save it, and then it will automatically get dumped into your uh, project as well. So if you wanted to go back through and change something, you can easily do that. So I want you to go ahead and change the back of the bookmark as well. Uh, the back of the bookmark has got kind of a area with a smart object within a smart object. So you see here we've got this text, and this text is actually another smart object. So you can go ahead and change out that text, maybe put in your favorite quote, and oh, go back up. And once you save that, so I'm just going to put Yeah, come back. It's not behaving today. Too many things going on. I'm just going to write XYZ for now. You should put some real something in there. 
but I'm not going to. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save it. I want you to go ahead and do a good job on these uh, up on these tutorials. I just want to get you the basics to have it done. So now I can see that's where my other element went in. I can go to that pattern overlay again. And instead of the leaves, I can do, maybe I want to go ahead and do purple on this side. Or maybe you want to do the circles. Totally up to you what kind of patterns. There's boatloads and boatloads of patterns online. Um, very easy for you to find those and upload them. I gave you a few uh, a few to play with. So I go ahead and make sure you save it. Once you save it, you can close those out and you're going to see you get those different elements. So now I can see I've got the book and what layers make up the book. So I've got one that's kind of looks like a blue right now. So what happens if I change that color? Let's go ahead and make it purple. And you can see kind of not a lot happened. So let's go ahead here and go down to our book here, we can see it's another smart object. And it's actually making a, I know what it's doing, it's making a color over top of it. So instead of gray, let's go ahead and do a color overlay. Let's go to our effects and go to cover overlay. And instead of making it gray, let's go ahead and make it, we had kind of a blue going on, right? Let's kind of pick a bluish color there and say OK and OK and I'm going to go to Control S and save. Close that smart object and now I've got my element here. So if you see you can turn these on and off and kind of see what's going to happen if you add that overlay over top. And one more thing I'm going to do is play with the background. So right now my background is color coming from a color overlay so you can really just kind of figure out where are these elements coming from and how do I change them. So I've got kind of that funky yellow going on right now. Maybe I don't want funky yellow. Maybe I want... Wow, that's really awful. Um, we'll do pink. Uh, we'll do pink instead and say OK. So you can see how easy it is to customize and make that element your own without having to do a whole lot of work. Uh, you'll also notice in this one there's a hue and saturation which allows you to kind of change and flip those colors relatively easily um, to everything down below it. So I want you to get in and play with these different types of mock-ups. Um, before you uh, finish, go ahead and save it. You probably want to do a image and duplicate. And let's go ahead and save, instead of copy, make it flat. And say OK. And then let's do a, with our flat one, make sure we do a layer and flatten image. And that'll make it a little bit smaller when you go to upload. So for your other one, for your on your own, I want you to go ahead and find a second uh, element, a second type of mock-up. Uh, if you look in here, there's one for a poster. There's a ton in the mock-up extras. So think about how maybe you want to work on something for maybe your publication or just kind of play with some of these. So I, as far as I know, most of these should be um, mock-ups with smart objects in them. If they're not, let me know. There's also a whole bunch that are zipped. So if it gives you a bunch of zip stuff, it should be pretty easy for you to go through and unzip them and figure out what's in there. So there's a lot of different options available for you to play with to create something that is fun. So that is basically how you work with smart objects. And I can't wait to see what you come up with.